say it again, say it again You say and you're sorry, so say it again Only you can make my world go black Say you love me, then you take it back Say it again, say it again Forgiveness, so say it again You're my thunder of my darkest night You just can't go back and make it right Cause it's too late, your time is up Damage done and now it's stuck Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. Today we're back out at Wayne Fryer in McClinney, Florida. In today's video, we are going to be touring the Silverado. The Silverado is a three bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section, double wide. Now right there, I just pointed up at the dormer that would be above the front window and the front door. Now, before we get started with the inside tour, you know, I always like to take you guys around the outside to get a much better view of the outside. So of course right here be your rear elevation of the home. You would have the option of adding a back deck or a patio if you choose to do so. The option is there. If you are new here, my name is Steven. I do manufactured modular home tours and I also do general manufactured home information videos. I invite you to join our family by subscribing to our channel. And please feel free to like and drop a comment down below. We are happy to have you here. So right here, we're coming up on a description of the home. I'm gonna get y'all a really good look at the description here. Um, you are more than welcome to pause the video to look at the description. A real quick disclaimer before starting the walkthrough tour. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I love sharing my personal opinion of all the homes that I view. If you have any additional questions about final pricing or specifications for this manufactured home, both the dealer and manufacturer's website links as well as dealer's info will always be down in the description box below. Now let's continue the video. All right, so let's get this tour started. So right here, we're stepping inside the Silverado. Right here, you're greeted with your living room. And across the way, you'll have your dining room and kitchen area. So this is an open concept, but we'll take a closer look at the dining room and kitchen in just a moment. So right here, be your living room space. It's a very cozy living room space. And of course you have your beautiful crown molding throughout the living areas. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, this would be their deluxe drywall series. So it doesn't have the full sheetrock, it has like the sideways sheetrock, but it has like the, uh, the, uh, the rails along the uh, middle parts of the drywall. So it gives it a very nice look. So again, this is your living space. I really love how they have it decorated. It's very beautiful. They always do an amazing, amazing job at staging their homes. Here's the living room right here from another angle. You have plenty of space for seating, um, for sitting seating guests or seating family. Now I want to sit right here on the sofa to get you all a really good feel for this living space as much as possible. Now as you notice, notice you would have the um, air vents in the ceilings throughout the entire home. 
And another thing I noticed, this home has the uh, wood vinyl flooring throughout the entire house. So it's a very beautiful feature. So right here be your dining room space. Be your beautiful dining room. You have your beautiful chandelier right here. I really love the feel of this home. It really has that um, southwestern feel. Another view from the dining room from a different angle. Over here, you have your shiplap wall or shiplap wood paneling wall. It was very nice to the touch. It really gives it um, a very, very rustic feel. Okay, so over here would be your kitchen area. Right there, you have your center island. You have your granite countertop. Of course, you have your kitchen cabinets. You have a place right there where you can sit two people. We'll get you all a peek inside the cabinet space. This home will come with the frigid air uh, black appliance package. And of course, it's included with the home. Now remember, this is a model home. If you don't like the dark cabinets, you can always, um, you know, opt for another color cabinet. Now, of course, up there, you'll have plenty of space for decorations and decor. Get you all a peek inside the center island cabinet space. Plenty of space in the center island. And of course, from this angle, it looks over into the living area. Now I want to sit right here is get, get you guys a feel for the kitchen area. Perfect place we can have you a cup of coffee in the morning or your favorite tea. Now I really love the beautiful recessed lighting that they would have. All right, so let's check out the pantry area right here. I really love this feature. Now I slowed the video down by one speed so we can get you guys a better look at the pantry because I was moving a little bit too fast. So I slowed it down by one speed for you. All right, so you would have your rustic um, accent pantry door. It's a very nice feature right there. Now remember, if you don't like that look, you can always opt for a, a standard door if you choose to do so. So let's take a look at this pantry right here. Of course, you would have your light in the pantry. And of course, back there, you would have uh, plenty of shelving space. It's a place where you can store like, um, you know, you can store small appliances, you can store your vacuum cleaner, you know, you, you know, you can store your other, you know, household chore um, items. Or, you know, pretty much anything that you want to store there. So the option is there. Remember, this is your home. You do what you want with it. Get y'all another good look at this uh, pantry area from another angle. I really, really love this. Um, love the fact that they carry the wood floors throughout the entire living space. All right, so over here would be your kitchen sink, of course. 
have your stainless steel sink. Now I really love the window above the kitchen sink where you can look out while you're doing the dishes. So right here, I've, I've mentioned this in other videos, but when you purchase a Live Oak Home product, um, of course it comes automatically comes with an owner's manual and um, other features. Let's check out your utility room space right here. Again, I slowed it down by one speed so you guys can get a much better look at it as much as possible. So right here be a space for your washer and dryer hookup area. And you have a little storage above that space. And of course right there would be your back door area. Yeah, this is a decent size utility room. And I really love the cutout that they would have uh, above to the entrance to the utility room. As you can see, it has plenty of lighting. So right there would be your central heat and air for the whole entire home, your central air conditioning and heating. And right next to it, you have your um, access to your water heater. It would be right behind that panel. And that door straight ahead would be to your master bathroom, but we'll take a look at that later in the video. And you have a space right there for a small um, freezer, a stand-up freezer if you choose to get one. So plenty of space in this utility room. And of course this utility room will have a space on it, will have a door on it. So, um, yeah, so. Anyway, so let's take a look at the bedrooms here. This would be the hallway leaving into your bedrooms. Again, I love the crown molding that they would have in the um, living room, living spaces. So right here be your first guest bedroom or bedroom number one. Lots of natural light in this bedroom. Right here be your closet space. Get y'all a peek in the closet. Of course you have your light in your closet area. Again, I really love the fact that they have the uh, wood vinyl flooring throughout the entire house. So no carpet, you guys. All you have to do is sweep and mop the floors from time to time. Let's take a look at, it, at the other guest bedroom, bedroom number two. Plenty of space in this room. This may be bigger of the two bedrooms, I'm not sure, but um, it could be about the same size, I may be wrong, but it definitely felt big to me. Now, either one of these guest bedrooms, so they'll, they'll be great for a guest bedroom or a kid's room, or if you're a single person, it'd be great for an office, a home office. Or anybody that needs a home office, so. All right, here, so be your closet space. I like how they wrap the um, shelving around the wall area. I really like that. Let me know down in the comment section what you would do with these um, guest bedrooms. I would love to hear it. All 
All right, so right here's your guest bathroom. And I love the fact that this home has electricity. It really shows off this home very well. Hello, there's me right there. All right, so you have your mirror and it has a white wood trim around it. You would have your vanity light. You have your beautiful bathroom sink. One thing I noticed, these bathrooms, they actually have white cabinets and the kitchen has a dark cabinet. So I really like that. That's very custom. And of course, right there, you would have your commode. And right here, you'll also have your full fiberglass tub and shower combo. Very easy to keep clean and maintain. And of course, right there, you have your exhaust vent and your main lighting for this bathroom. So this bathroom have two, source, two sources of lighting. I love that feature. All right, you guys, so let's go check out the master bedroom area. So this would be your master bedroom. Again, I love the uh, two windows. It has lots of natural light in here. And I love the fact that they carried the, uh, the uh, brown molding throughout the entire house. You have your crown molding and then you have the middle trim and then you have your, um, your uh, baseboard. So I really love that. Plenty of space in here for a king size bed. You can put you like a dresser in there. You can put you like a, a, a tall chest or drawer. You can put you like an accent chair in the corner by the window. At least that's what I would do. But it's really up to you as what you want to do. Let me know down in the comment section what you would do with the master bedroom. I would love to hear it. Again, lots of natural light in this master bedroom. So right here be your master closet. It's not the largest master closet I've ever seen, but it would be it would be the right master closet for the right person. This this closet would be perfect for someone out there. But it's a decent sized master closet though. You know, if you have a significant other, you know, he can always, um, or, you know, they could always uh, use a, one of the closets down the hall on the other side of the house. All right, so here is your master bathroom. So this is your master bathroom, you guys. This is a glamour bath. I really love this bathroom. So right here, you would have your um, vanity lights, you have the accent uh, sh um, shiplap with paneling wall surrounding it, and then you would have your double mirrors encased with it. You have your double sinks right here. Again, you have your white cabinets. You have plenty of drawer in storage space. Again, you have that beautiful wood trim around the mirrors. Everything flows together very well in this area. Of course, right there you have your commode area. And you have your beautiful shiplap wood paneling wall and the accent columns that was surrounded with the um, garden tub area. I really love the shape of this garden tub. It's very nice. And then, of course, you would have your window as well. So, get you all another good look here. A perfect place to relax after a long, stressful day at work. Again, you have your window straight ahead right there for natural light. Right here, you have a um, space for your linens or for your toiletries or whatever you need, need it for.
and of course right here this would be the door that would lead back into your utility room space so this is a very nice feature right here so very nice let's take a look at the shower area right here you have your beautiful shower I love the glass sliding doors And I love this hand laid tile right here. This is very nice. And of course you have your Rainmaker shower head. Let's take a closer look at this shower. So there's plenty of space in the shower. You know, I stood in here and there's plenty of space for me, you know, and I'm six foot three, so. Get you all a really good idea of the shower space here in the master bathroom. They did a very good job at designing this bathroom. This is one true glamour bathroom. Overall, I was very, very impressed with this master bathroom. Another one more good look at this master bathroom. Very nice. Well, all right, you guys. Well, that will conclude the tour of this home. If you've liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. If you are interested in about inquiring or purchasing this manufactured home, all the links will be down in the description box below, as well as dealer's information. This is one beautiful home. Remember, all the links will be down in the description box. This is Stephen with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all very soon in the next video. You all take care and you all have a wonderful day. Yeah.